in Revel, in Matthew, twenty second chapter. Glory to God, number eight to fourteen. When Jesus say, when Jesus went to the wedding, glory to God, and and he said the king say came into the wedding feast and say, friend, what comes down not having a wedding garment on? And the Bible say the man was speechless. I mentioned love. I mentioned joy. And the third one is, glory to God. Number four, hallelujah, is peace. <clears throat> the garment of peace, which we don't have at being Christian. We don't have peace among ourselves. We are the most frightenest people in the whole wild world. And the Bible say, I know Jesus Christ say, glory to God, I didn't come to bring peace but a sword. Hey, glory to God with a, with a mother-in-law against a, a son-in-law. But listen, my friend, we're not Jesus. Hey, glory to God, but Jesus Christ said, follow peace with all men. Without no man shall see the Lord. So peace in the midst of a storm. Peace is tranquility. Peace. He told a storm, peace, be still. And I stopped by to tell you, tell those that are watching this video, do you have peace among each other? Because the Bible says, follow peace without no man shall see the Lord. So if you have war against each other and you don't have peace among each other, my friend, you're going to miss heaven. Because Jesus said that man not having his wedding garment on. And the Bible say he missed. God tied him up and thrown door to God. And it was weeping and gnashing of teeth. So I'm telling people, my friend, we must have peace among one another. And it's amazing. We call ourselves Christian. And we don't have peace among each other. We have war. We fight. Hallelujah. We we like crabs in a barrel. Yes, we fight. We we criticize people. We talk about people. We scandalize people. I mentioned to my friend, I, I came from a church, glory to God. I was there for 15 long years. And the church, my friend, it glory to God. They was tearing me up like I was a sinner. They were tearing me up like I was an unbeliever. And I loved the Lord. But peace, we don't have peace among each other. I should be able to go back, hallelujah, and fellowship. But it seems like if I go back in fellowship, they're going to gossip. If I go back in fellowship, they're going to turn their nose up at me. The Jesus Christ said, hallelujah, hallelujah. A man's hallelujah, enemy is of his own household. So listen, my friend, peace. Do we have peace? among each other. No, we don't have peace among each other because we don't have the Prince of Peace in our life. And when you don't have the Prince of Peace in your life, you can't have peace. You're going to have war among one another. But I stopped by to tell you, my friend, so you be able to make it to heaven. We got to love each other. We got to have peace toward each other. And peace is something that we are missing out in the body of Christ. Yes, we have missed our peace in the body of Christ. There's too many Hallelujah, isms, divisions, hallelujah. That's why there's so many churches that's hallelujah. They're not preaching the same thing. They're preaching baptism, this and baptism, that, but don't have peace among each other. But Jesus told a man, he said, friend, where comes thou not having a wedding garment? We, hallelujah, in the church, but we don't like one another. We in the church and we talk about one another. We're in the church and we're chasing one of the spouse down. We're in the church and we screwing one another. My friend, we don't have peace among ourselves. And if you, know, if you don't have peace with yourself, you can't have peace with nobody else. I have peace with myself. I love people, so I have peace with me. Oh, glory to God. So people, my friend, hey, glory to God, don't have peace with each other. And if you don't have peace with each other, that's why there's war in the body of Christ. Yes, there's war in the body because people don't have Jesus. They have religion, 
but don't have a relationship. They have religion, but don't have a friendship with Jesus. Jesus say, Hallelujah, if you if you if you are little continue my word, then you be my disciple. They say something else. He say, listen to what he say. He say, just I don't call you Hallelujah servant no more, but I call you friends. Hallelujah, you my friends if you do whatsoever. I command you. And it's a problem we have right now. We do everything but we'll keep the commandments of God. And the greatest commandment is to love thy neighbor as we love ourselves. When you love your neighbor, ha, ah, you will love yourself. But people that love themselves, but they don't love one another. So, friend, where comest thou? Not having a wedding garment. And the Bible say, he was cast into outer darkness. There was weeping and gnashing of teeth. Many a call, but few are chosen. So as I end this prayer, as I end this, and tell people, my friend, you gotta follow peace with all men, wholeness without. No man shall see the Lord. So peace is the garment. Do you have peace garment on? My friend, the peace.